G'day, welcome to Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is a nice easy trick for converting between kilograms and pounds, the two units of measurements, okay? Uh, so let's just launch into this. And if you like this video, please remember, hit the like button and subscribe. So uh, I guess the first bit of information we need when we're doing this is, well, if we're converting between kilograms and pounds, how many pounds are there in a kilogram? And to be exact, uh, well, but not too exact yet, in one kilogram, there is about 2.2 pounds. If we want to be a bit more exact, we'd say it's about 2.2046 pounds, okay? Um, so what you're going to see straight away is we're going to be using this idea that there's 2.2 pounds in the kilogram. So our answers are going to have a degree of error in them. So how do we go about converting between kilograms and pounds? Well, we're going to literally get the number of kilograms and we're going to multiply it by the number 2.2. And I'm going to show you how to do this really quickly in your head, how to multiply by the number 2.2 to get your answer. So, okay, let's just start with an example and see how fast you can do this particular one knowing just the information that you know right now. So say we had a nice easy one, 35 kilograms. What is this in pounds? Okay. So time's up. Did you get the answer of 77 pounds? If you did, hey, congratulations. If you didn't, I'm going to show you how I go about doing this. And there's a couple of steps. The very first thing we do is to our 35 kilograms here, we are going to multiply our number by two. We're going to double it. So 35 times two, we get the answer of 70. That's the first thing we do. And that's taking care of this two part here. We're going to be trying now to work out this little 10% part here, this, this remaining part, this 10% of what we've got now so far. How do we do that? Well, we're just going to divide our answer by 10. So that's the answer divided by 10. Okay, and then we're going to add that to it. So what's the answer here divided by 10? Well, the answer is 70 divided by 10 is 7. And we're going to add that to 70 plus 7. This is 77 pounds. Pretty simple, right? What did you think of that particular trick? I'm going to go through a few more particular uh, questions here. So what about you go through and give them a fly as you go? You're just going to be doubling your answer, working at that 10% and then adding that on. So let's give that a go. Okay, what about you give this one a go? Uh, seven kilograms. How many pounds is that? All right, you should be uh, already working this out. Okay. So what's the first thing you're going to do here is you're going to double your answer here. So seven times two, easy, it's 14. The next thing you do is you're going to work out 10% of your answer here. So divide by 10. What's 14 divided by 10? Well, it's 1.4. We're going to add that to this and then we're going to have our answer. So 1.4 plus 14, our answer is 15.4 pounds. Okay, so 15.4 pounds. How'd you go with that? Let's go through another one. Okay, one kilogram is 2.2 .2 pounds. Well, how much is 16 kilograms? So let's see what that is. See if you can work it out. All right, so double your answer here. Uh, I'll double 16, double 16 is 32. 32, we're gonna work out 10% of this. So 32 divided by 10 is 3.2. And we're just gonna add our answer to this. So uh, 3.2 plus 32, here's our answer. 35.2 pounds. Okay, now what we're going to have a look at is converting back from pounds to kilograms. So there's 2.2 .2 pounds in a kilogram. So what we're going to be doing to go from pounds to kilos is we are going to divide by 2.2. .2. Now look, to do this mentally, I'm going to do this in a couple of steps. The very, very first thing I'm going to do is I am going to, instead of multiplying by 2 like we did before, I am going to divide by 2. So we get 2.2 .2 divided by 2, we're left with this answer of 1.1. Now I don't really want to deal with 1.1, I'd much rather deal with the number 11. So to do this, I'm just going to chuck a step in between. So usually what I could do is I could just directly divide by 1.1, but I would rather divide by 11. So the, I'm going to do sort of an extra step in here, I'm going to divide by 2, multiply my answer by 10, and then divide by 11. And you're gonna see this is not as uh, complex as it might seem. Okay, so let's have a bit of a go at this. Let's change 33 pounds into uh, kilograms. So 33 pounds. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna divide by two. So what's 33 divided by two? 33 divided by two is 16.5, okay? 
16.5 multiplied by 10, we've got 165, okay? And now we're just going to divide by 11. So 165 divided by 11. Well, you might look at this and go, okay, 11 goes into 16 one time. It's so going to leave a 5 there. And 11 goes into 55 five times. Okay, there is a shortcut for doing that. I'm not going to get right into that right now. So what we have is 33 pounds, and this is equal to 15 kilograms. All right, let's go through one more of these. Okay, so let's do 18 pounds and see what that is in kilograms. Okay, so 18 divided by 2 is 9 times 10 is 90. So it's 90 divided by 11. Well, 90 divided by 11, you go, okay, well, 11 goes into 98 times, and there's two left over. So it's going to be around about 0 0.1, 0 0.2. That's our answer, okay? Pretty simple, right? Uh, and this is going to be in kilograms. So, look, that's a fairly, fairly close approximation of how, uh, how many kilograms are in 18 pounds. So, look, so what do you think of that trick? Let us know in the comments below. Once again, big shout out to my patrons. Uh, yes, yes, there is a video on the way that I said I was going to produce. I uh, just got caught up with our technical issues. And as always, thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time.